sports fans and baseball fans. We got baseball back. We got real baseball back. But this is out of the park baseball. I'm starting a 1994 career season. That means we will start in 1994. And uh, we will let the game engine carry us forward for years into the future after that. But we are starting 1994 here, and we are going to be starting with opening day of 1994. And I am going to be the manager of my Chicago White Sox. As you can see on the screen with my beautifully rendered cartoon version of me in Out of the Park Baseball. And uh, we are going to go start this 1994 season. Let me uh, move my face over here. And we are opening day. Well, first of all, let's go to, um, yeah, let's go to uh, manager's office. You can see um, we are starting off against the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays will be putting Pat Hentgen on the mound against our Black Jack McDowell. And of course, the uh, standings page will be uh, showing that um, there are no games having been played yet. I do want to do one thing I do want to do is go to, um, let's see, reports and info and. Um, <clears throat> Preseason predictions. Let's see what they've got for us. They think we're going to be 97 and 65. Well, they haven't seen me manage. I can ruin that in, in a heartbeat. They think we're going to be one game worse than the Indians. That'll be interesting to see if that happens. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get on to the game. And also, I want to point out, <clears throat> I was doing a pirate season, 1980s. I stopped doing that because we are now in a situation where I bought out of the park 22 and the Pirates were in 21. Now I did, I was able to import that season into 22, but it got rid of like the stadium. I like, I had the real fields and stadiums in it and um, they, um, I don't know. I just, I felt like, you know what, let me just start from scratch. Now, I don't know if this is going to have the actual stadiums um, in 22, you know, for going back to 1994. I know if you take, like, if you took, if I were to take, like, the 2020 White Sox, I would have all the real stadiums. Hopefully, that's the case for 1994 as well. If it isn't, you're going to find me in possibly in new stadiums, um, and you'll find, you know, new stadiums when we get into it. But, um uh, you know, I'm going to have to figure out how to import the stadium files, or I can also make my own custom looking stadiums. Um, but, and that's even preferable to that cookie cutter out of the park stadium that they have. But anyway, uh, I'm rambling on enough here. You can see our lineup is uh, Lance Johnson, uh, Rock Reigns, Frank Thomas, Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco, Robin Ventura. Darren Jackson, Ozzy Guillen, Karkovice, and then Eric Devlin, who I have never heard of. I think he's a make-believe guy that we just happen to have, and it'll be interesting to see how he does. But let's get on with the game. We are supposedly in Toronto, so let's see if this looks like Toronto or whether it looks like they're... Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell from this angle. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's the cookie cutter stadium. So I'm going to have to fix the stadium thing. I hate that. Because it is not e like in, well, first of all, Stratomatic gives you the stadiums. So, um, you know, you have those in Stratomatic. And I know if if a cheap ass company like Stratomatic can do that, out of the park should be able to do it. 
what I know, though, is that we are killing the Blue Jays already. What do we got? The bases loaded with no outs. Nice. Bases loaded, no outs, and Julio down by the schoolyard is up. And he's going to get a base hit. We still don't have any outs. Of course, we're going station to station on the merry-go-round, and that's bad because now you get a double play and then a strikeout, and you only scored one run when you had bases of guys all over the place. Ventura, this actually looks like Ventura, which is cool. See, Ventura pops out. Now we're going to have a guy strike out, and then the next guy will get out, and then we only scored one run. Darren Jackson, no, he got a base hit. Thank you, Darren Jackson. Uh, no, no, nah, I'm not sending Thomas. I mean, a young 1994 Thomas probably had some speed, but we're going to go with Ozzie Gijan. And I'm going to say yes. Now, why did I do that? It's still Thomas. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But anyway, now one thing I do like about um, twenty Out of the Park 22 is the player graphics are a lot better. In 21, they were seriously cartoons. Here, they're kind of like quasi-cartoonish, but still like... Um, you know, like there's shadows and there's some depth to them. So, <clears throat> oh man, Jack McDowell is getting jacked. All right, so that looks a little like Jack McDowell too, his pitcher does. All right, well, they've got to run. It's two to one and... Uh, the Blue Jays, they were, a, they were a fine ball club in 1994, from what I remember. But so were we. And remember, out of the park says we're going to be a 97-win team. So anyway, we have a 2-1 to one lead. I'll certainly take that. And Ron Carco Vice is up at the plate. And he is going to fly out. Eric Devlin, here he is, our second baseman, Eric Devlin. I don't know who the second baseman, I don't remember who the second baseman for the 94 um, White Sox was. Maybe Graybeck played a lot. Um, Graybeck is on our bench too, I think. But whoever it was, that guy's got to be saying, I lost out to Eric Devlin. So anyway, we've got a, we got a triple right there by Johnson. So man at third, only one out. Henkin is getting his ass handed to him here by the White Sox. And Rock Range is going to walk. I know he could steal, but I don't want to take a chance with Frank Thomas up. No way. And Frank Thomas laces a base hit. We got a 3-1 lead. And yeah, I'm going to send Tim Raines. You know that. Ain't no way I'm not sending Tim Raines. And then the other guy, the trailing runner, Goes to second. That's Thomas. So, hey, we are in. Who the heck is Sam Ant? Sam Anthony is their catcher. I haven't heard of Sam Anthony either. But this is part of the fun of out of the park baseball. You'll get these guys every once in a while that either were in the majors for like 25 minutes or they, or they never were or they're make believe players or whatever. And they end up on your roster and it's kind of cool to see how. What is not kind of cool is that um, Jack McDowell is getting his butt beat in, too, by this Blue Jay lineup. Although, again, it was a very good Blue Jays team. All right, so Jack McDowell, two guys are on. There's no outs. Oh, and then you got an air by that make-believe dude. See? You sign a make-believe guy, and that's what you get. Can you make the play, please? All right, at least there's an out. But he was safe, so it's three to two with only one out. McDowell is taking an ass whooping here, like you've never seen him take. So there's two down, and uh, he's, <clears throat> oh, Paul Molitor. That's a tough customer. 
Man, he is a very tough customer, and he's going to lace a base hit and tie the game. God. This was a tough series to start off with, I got to tell you. Wasn't their catcher, wasn't uh, Toronto's catcher really Pat Borders that year? I don't know. But anyway, they tied the game, and so it's 3-3 after two. Neither starter is doing really well at all. Um, and then Robin Ventura Highway is up at the plate. And he's going to lace a base hit. Henkin and McDowell. This is not the Henkin and McDowell that I remember. Uh, either that or these offenses were a lot better than I remember. Although they actually were good. Oh, yes, over his head. Robin Ventura. Ah, God, this is hard. I'm going to say yes. And did we score? Yes, we did. All right, good. It didn't hurt. It's always a hard decision when there's no outs because you're always afraid that you're going to run into an out at home plate and then um you know and then your whole inning goes to hell in a handbasket but we did get another run in there and so it is five three and you know if mcdowell could just settle down and pitch the way mcdowell should pitch we would be all right so we take a five to three lead And we're going into the uh, bottom of the third. Bottom of the third, and there's a home run. This is ridiculous. All right. Um, Dick Schofield. He, he better not jack him. No, okay, good. Pop out to Ventura. So there's one down, and uh, it's 5-4. It's really incredible after three innings. And that's going to be a, a fly ball to center and an out. And there's two down. And now Matt Balcombe is up again. Another guy I've never heard of. At least they have two guys playing that <clears throat> might be fictional players that no one's ever or just fictional players. Well, I guess you would have never heard of fictional players. So <clears throat> we've got Lance Johnson up, top of the fourth. And man, the shoddy fielding, terrible pitching is marring this game in a big way. And uh, Henkin, Look at that. Henkin is still not even breaking a sweat. He's getting his he's getting pummeled, but he's not breaking a sweat. Lance Johnson's a good runner, I'm gonna send him. And he does score. So it's six to four. And um Yeah, they brought on a new pitcher. They they saw enough of Henkin. <clears throat> they brought on Ostrom, though. I don't I've never heard of Ostrom. I mean, if we beat the Blue Jays, it's going to be because we're beating a bunch of fictional players and then a couple of real ones like Molitor. Um, Julio down by the schoolyard. With one down, and he gets a base hit. I mean, at least I got the, um, you know, I can rest um, secure in the knowledge that I can let, um, there we go, that I can let McDowell keep pitching because, it doesn't matter how bad he pitches, we're, we're going to score him some runs. There's only one out, and uh, and now Darren Jackson up at the plate. He strikes out, and that brings up Ozzy Gizen. And Ozzy Gizen rips it through the infield, gets another run home, maybe two. Yes, indeed, two. I mean, I'm just glad it's our offense is doing this. It's eight to four. And Ron Carco Vice is up. And again, I also I wanna um let you guys know I am not the general manager of the White Sox. I am just the manager. I am the field manager of the White Sox. So 
Um, yeah, we're going to let McDowell pitch a little bit more, even though he is pitching on McDowell like. Um, yeah, and he's not really, I mean, he's not tired yet. So, and in fact, this might be his first decent inning of pitching. Paul Molitor is up with two down. And he's going to ground out to our fictional second baseman. <coughs> and that's, <laughs> I mean, I looked him up on, uh, I did a Google search and it doesn't seem like he really exists. Nothing that really, there are Eric Devlins, but there wasn't anything that really fit him. And, uh, so, Eric Devlin is up, speak of the devil, and he strikes out. And now Lance Johnson's up. And he is going to pop out the second base line out, really. And then Tim Raines, Tim Rock Raines. And he's going to be out. So that's what you're talking about. We got an 8 4 lead with Black Jack McDowell still on the mound out there. But walking the leadoff batter of the fifth inning for the Blue Jays. And that brings up Joe Carter. Remember what Joe Carter did to uh, Mitch Williams. So that's a fly out. There's one down. What he did to Mitch Williams in the world series and there is two two away and I'm looking forward to seeing what the Sox what this general manager gets for me um, and who he brings up and who he brings down and you know what trades he might make for players and I'm interested to see that going forward as well because in real life the White Sox just kind of devolved into a bad team over the years from 1994 on, and the, until very recently, the last one or two years where they've been good again. Frank Thomas is up, the big hurt. Let's put a big hurt on this guy and he gets a base hit, yes. So we're in the sixth. Julio down by the schoolyard and he's gonna ground into a double play. No, he's not. He beats out the second end of it. And Robin Ventura Highway. And he's going to double down the line. I assume that's a double. So runners at second and third with only one down and Darren Jackson. And that's going to be a high fly. That might get the run in and it will. So it's 9-4. So we've got, you know, Black Jack is going to do some significant pitching, even though he had a terrible outing. I mean, he's already had a terrible outing. And uh, Carco Vice is up at the plate, and he's going to get a base hit. Man, we are all over the Blue Jays pitching today. Ozzie Guillen, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I mean, you know, I'm playing with house money. Might as well. Yeah, it's 11 to 4. We're cranking them. So that's going to be an out, and that's the last out of the inning for the sixth. But, yeah, you know, McDowell's like, uh, let me go the distance. I mean, who cares if I give up eight runs or nine runs or whatever I, you know, get my butt pounded. We've already got a win. we got a win in the bag. Double play. Nice. I mean, I really shouldn't say he's already picked poorly. If he keeps pitching like this, getting, you know, getting out one, two, three, getting through innings really quickly and not allowing any more runs, and he pitches seven or eight, then he, then he had a, an, an okay outing. But um, <clears throat> there was nothing to tell you that that was coming, though. And it's not it's not coming here either. <laughs> Although he, that 
that throwing arm stopped the uh, runner from scoring. So it's 11 to 4, two down. And that should be a home run. So see, no, he's not pitching well. It's 11 to 7. I'm going to warm somebody up as soon as we get out, um, I, as soon as we get up to the plate, but I'm not going to do it right now. But 11 to 7, man. This was a crazy, crazy, this is a crazy fun game. though. This is the kind of game I want to play. I just want to come out on the winning end of it. All right, so let's go to the bullpen and see what we got out there. Kirk McCaskill. Although, yeah, you know what? I am going to warm up Kirk McCaskill. I like that guy. All right, so let's go game action. And... Um, see yeah Lance Johnson's up he's gonna ground out to second so there's one down Tim Rock Reigns is up and he's gonna pop out and that brings to the plate the big hurt Frank Thomas and Frankie Thomas is gonna fly out so um let's see where black jack is at yeah i'm gonna let him pitch to a batter or two or maybe just a batter because he just gave up a home run all right so it's 11 to 8 let's go get mccaskill i don't know if mccaskill's going to be good bad indifferent we have no idea because we're dealing with out of the park baseball. Oh man, double down the line. This is crazy. This is crazy. This crazy hit parade of a game. It's a lot of fun though. This is a lot of fun to play. Uh, all right, strikeout. One down with Carlos Delgado up. He was very good, from what I remember. And that's an out. Good. We even have a closer on this team? I don't know. Because we may need the closer. It's 11 to 8, going to the top of the 8. And Julio down by the schoolyard is up. We need some more runs. Robin Ventura with uh, Franco aboard, and that's going to be a slow roller that's going to move the runner up to second. Nice. Let's see if we can get him in. Come on, Darren. Base hit. <clears throat> no, they walked Darren Jack. Okay, because because our fictional dude is. No, no, Ozzie Guillen is. He's up. And Ozzie Guillen, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. And Ron Karkovice is up and did he hit a home run he did yes it's, it's a great game i love this game unbelievable 14 to 8 opening day game 1994 white Sox, blue jays here's my fictional second baseman devlin and he strikes out and uh that brings um Okay, we're, um, yeah, we're back in the field. And it's safe to say that McCaskill's going to be able to finish this one out. I sh you know what? Just for fun, no, I'm not going to. But just for fun, I should walk a couple of Blue Jays just to see if they can get a few more runs. Uh, that is going to be a fly ball, deep fly ball. And that brings up uh, Paul Molitor. I might want to keep the Blue Jays in this stadium because we hit well in this stadium, obviously. So do the Blue Jays, but so do we. Oh, yeah, got Tony Castillo out there against Lance Johnson in the top of the ninth. 
That's going to be a, a ground out. Nice play by the third baseman there. Timmy Raines. Tim Rock Raines. He's going to fly out. There is two down. And Frank Thomas, the big hurt. And he, they walk him smartly. Which gives way to Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco. And he's going to hit a home run. Unbelievable. 16 to 8. Oh my God. Ventura is up. And Ventura walks. We have we we have decimated this Blue Jays pitching. And there's an error by the shortstop. It's not over yet. This half inning isn't over yet. Ozzy Guillen. As again, it's going to lace a base hit for a run, and it's going to be 17 to 8. Oh, no, no, the guy stopped at third. I thought he was going to go home. All right, Ron Karkavice. And that's a pass ball. So there's, there's the run, 17 to 8. And uh, yeah, now Ron Karkavice can try to hit him home. No, he doesn't. He walks, but is our fictional man up? Yes, here he is. The fictional man is 0 for 5 on the day. And he's going to be 0 for 6. But, I mean, it's 17 to 8. And we have a tiring McCaskill, but it would, it would not be fun at all to take him out when he's tiring. <laughs> I mean, you know, you want to see what the Blue Jays can do off a tired McCaskill or a tiring McCaskill. That's going to be a double play. And there's two down, and the game is nearly over. Two down, nobody on. And that is going to be a play by Gian to get us out of the inning and out of the game. So, yeah, Franco goes three for five. But, I mean, Franco, I mean, that's, I mean, look at this. Look at this batting. I mean, it was crazy. Johnson was three for six. Reigns was only one for four. But Thomas was three for five. Franco was three for five. Ventura was three for five. Jackson was two for four. Guillen was three for six. Karkovice was two for five. McDowell went six. He allowed 11 hits and six earned runs. He's got a nine ERA and he's 1 0. I'm 1 0 with a nine ERA. Hello. Um, and then Henkin, man, went three and allowed 10 hits and seven runs. He's, man, that pitching was just decimated. So we're going to leave the game and look at this. I've already got all of these awards for a great first game of the season so let's go to um the actual standings and there we are one and oh with the indians and let's go to the manager's office my owner is worried well all right he should be worried about that pitching probably but man one and oh what a game that was awesome but that's going to be it for me sportsman z Bob Zolke.